Greetings and welcome to Vanderbilt University School of Nursing's Informatics 101. We are here today to talk to you about the topic of what is informatics. So I'm Patty Sengstack. I'm the director of the master's program here at the Vanderbilt University School of Nursing. I'm Alvin Jeffrey. I'm a postdoctoral fellow funded by the Department of Veterans Affairs and soon to be on faculty here at <laughs> Vanderbilt School of Nursing. And I'm Rachel Buckleiter. I'm a Master's of Nursing Informatics student, and I'll be graduating in May. Yay. So wanna, um, can I brag on you for just a minute? Sure. So Rachel is in our um, program and just finishing up, and where she's doing her clinical practicum, they've just hired her. Oh, congratulations. Yes, so starting new job in yeah. my field. It's very exciting. That's awesome. Congrats. So this question, in informatics, we get asked, all the time. What is nursing informatics? And I know that there are definitions in the literature. I think we have some today to share. So Alvin? Absolutely. Uh, so hopefully this isn't too boring. I'll try to read kind of quickly. But uh, according to one source, nursing informatics is the science and practice that integrates nursing, its information and knowledge with management of information and communication technologies to promote the health of people, families, and communities worldwide. All right, and I think we have another definition too another in the one? literature. This one from the uh, American Nurses Association. As previously presented, nursing informatics is a specialty that integrates nursing science with multiple information and analytical sciences to identify, define, manage, and communicate data, information, knowledge, and wisdom into nursing practice. Nursing informatics supports nurses, consumers, patients, the interprofessional healthcare team, and other stakeholders in their decision making in all roles and settings to achieve desired outcomes. This support is accomplished through the use of information structures, information processes, and information technology. That's a lot. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> so when you're you're at a social event or you're on a plane and you strike up a conversation with the person beside you, or you're speaking with your grandmother, what what do you really say? I mean this this happens all the time, right? Yeah. People say, what do you do? And you say, I'm a nurse. And where do you work? And you say, Vanderbilt. And then they say, well, what kind of specialty? And you say, informatics. And you get that sort of, like, what? Yeah. So how do, you, how do you respond? Yeah. I guess for me, I, I tend not to use the word informatics. If I say it, I say it very quickly and move <laughs> into saying that I, I work with clinicians and nurses and uh, computer scientists and analysts. And uh, I... I try to even ask people, you know, when was the last time you went to see your provider? Uh, were they entering data into a computer? And they say, yeah. I say, mm -hmm. well, I work with all the people that enter data into the computer and say, what's the information in there? As you mentioned in your definition, data, information, knowledge, wisdom, how do we get that data out? Look for patterns and trends and then deliver that back to the providers or maybe the patients and families to help everybody make better decisions. So mm -hmm. it's team-based. Uh, I work with a lot of different people, a lot of different moving pieces. and. Uh, hopefully just try to improve the way that we deliver care. Mm -hmm. Rachel, what do you say? Similar to that, I try to focus on, I'm really passionate about, about nursing care and what nurses can do and providing the best quality care. So how can we use technology and things we've learned from care throughout the decades and turn that back um, and use it to benefit our patients? Mm -hmm. What do you say, Patty? It depends, it depends on the audience that I'm talking to. Okay. Right? So, um, sometimes I'll say that I'm the, I'm the liaison that sits in between the care provider, so the nurses and the physicians, and then and the programmers of technology, mm -hmm. the ones that program and code. Mm -hmm. And I kind of sit in the middle as a liaison to help to interpret, you know, speak a little bit of the, you know, the geek talk. Um, but knowing being a nurse, having a background as a nurse, I know how care is delivered. So I'm able to say when somebody uh, creates something, I can say, oh, I don't think that's going to work. That's not going to support workflow. Um, you know, informatics 101 that I learned in my um, uh, informatics program was you really have to have the people that are using the system at the design table. So, um, you know, so informatics, you know, so I say, I say that about the liaison, but I also say things like, um, well, it's kind of like, especially if there are other nurses, I'll say things like, well, if, they, um, if you know the nursing process, then it's very similar what we do with systems. So if you take a system and you think about 
a challenge you're having with it. You assess it, what's the problem, um, analyze it, plan for some kind of improvement, you build it, because a lot of the skills that nurse informaticists have are building in some of the systems. Um, build it, test it, train it, implement it, and then evaluate it, which sounds like the nursing process, yeah. doesn't mm -hmm. it? And I yeah, love that in hearing your definition, I think we use a lot of the same words, but we, informatics is also so big that we can focus on these different pieces that really resonate with us, right? So I really love the analytics and, and how we can respectfully approach data and find these patterns and trends and maybe put them into decision support tools. And I hear you talking a lot about workflows and process and the people. And I love that there's enough different opportunities for wherever your interests mm -hmm. lie as a person that you can uh, kind of embrace it or engage with informatics on many different levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now your, your new job that you'll be um, embarking on soon mm -hmm. is going to have a lot to do with analytics, right? Yeah. Looking at problems and... It will. Uh, so I will be a business analyst for kind of three teams that are all merging together. Um, so one piece is the care delivery. So all of the nursing care and everything from our protocol standards of practice. And then how does that get into the standards and terminology of the actual EHR documentation that's happening? And then what do you do with the analytics? So everything that's documented, how do we capture that and then display it in a way that is visually meaningful and nurses can take action on that? That's, that's wonderful. Visually meaningful. That's, you know, that's one of those emerging um, competencies with creating a data isn't it, Alvin, you know, the data visualization, as we call it, right? Creating mm -hmm. some kind of graph or chart so that you can look at it and see, oh, okay, I see the action I need to take on that. Absolutely. And I think yeah. it's, it's about, I use, you were using the word liaison. I use the word mm -hmm. translate. Yeah. And uh, for me, it's very important that, uh, and I'll say this a lot probably, but it, to be respectful of the data, because you can always make it say something that it doesn't true. really ready to say. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking, right? Uh, and, and so if we can approach it in a way that says, you know, these are the things that we've collected, and, and is there a phenomenon or multiple phenomena underlying these data, that, these observations, and then translate that into the people that are then going to translate that into action mm -hmm. uh, to, to be able to say, uh, you know, statisticians want to talk maybe in p-values, and that doesn't mean a whole lot to nurses. And so how do we begin to either visualize it or display tables or graphs in such a way where for clinicians it resonates and they say, yes, that is what I've experienced. This makes so much sense on a population level. How do we then change uh, our behaviors or our actions to, to, to change the patient outcomes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think, you know, we've spent, in nursing informatics, we spend a lot of time, particularly maybe a decade or two ago, making sure that the systems that we employ for nurses help to support their workflow. So that when a nurse is interacting with a particular screen, it, it's set up so that it follows the right sort of cognitive workflow, how the nurse thinks and how the nurse does her, uh, his or her work. Um, and so now, over time, this sort of next emerging um, competency and in field in informatics is getting that data out. And so I know we're not, in this segment, we don't have time to go into standards or you know, getting the data in in a way that it can be pulled out and analyzed and aggregated. Um, but it's another emerging competency, isn't it, to um, you know, look at how, how we put the data in so that we can get the data out for those meaningful um, you know, relationships and trends that we can see. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so. I guess I wanted to ask you, Rachel, you've got analysts in your title, which mm -hmm. I think is really cool. And I know when I was a new grad nurse uh, a few years ago, I, when I thought of informaticists, I just thought of implementing EHRs. And now mm -hmm. we're at this point mm -hmm. of analysts. So did that change for you throughout the program or were you thought about it differently? Or are you ending up where you thought you were going yeah, to when no, you started? It's definitely been a journey and I very much became interested in informatics because of, like you said, the EHR and using an EHR that was maybe I felt less than ideal. So how can I um, make a difference in that area? And then going through the whole program and my experience with clinicals, finding a lot of EHRs have been implemented and we're in this new phase, but now that we've had EHRs for so long, how can we use the information we've collected? So I really like the problem solving part, hence the analyst of, okay, we have all of this, now what, what do I do and what problem can I solve with this? Cool, very cool. I think, you know, even though the, um, 
the EHR is probably one of the primary components of the work of a nurse informaticist. I include any piece of technology to go under the umbrella of nursing informatics work. Mm. Mm -hmm. you know, any, any piece of technology. So I'll define that. Please do, <laughs> because I think that changes. I remember when I took informatics in my master's degree, uh -huh. actually I, I clepped out of it because all it was teaching was software skills, word processing, presentation uh -huh. software, spreadsheets. And they said, oh, if you were already competent in those, you can pass nursing informatics. And so that was my impression uh -huh. of the, what technology, uh -huh. but I think we've maybe evolved a little bit since then. So what is technology? What's the focus of technology within informatics now? So um, technology, in my mind, very simply put, is anything that is plugged in or has a battery okay. that the nurse interacts mm -hmm. with. You know, I was trying to think the other day, how many pieces of technology does a nurse interact with on a daily basis? And I started mm -hmm. thinking about it, you know, and just kind of, you know, ticking them off and thought, oh my, and ICU uh, mm -hmm. even more. So all of those, all of those I mean, even the, the bed that patients lay on now are so automated. There's, and there's, you know, kind of ways to weigh, ways to weigh the patient and, um, you know, uh, turn the patient. And so everything that a nurse uses now is hooked up to something, it seems. And so you need informatics specialization and expertise to make sure that all of those tools are being used appropriately and effectively. So in my mind, the need for nurse informaticists has never been stronger. And do you think there's a need for everybody to have some of this education? I know the answer to this, but I'm posing it to you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know, it, bedside nurses all the way to the executives, and, and where do the role, how is the role of a specialist different than just the foundational knowledge everyone and should have? That's a great question. You want to take that one? Okay. You want me to give for it? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know the answer I'm going to give you. Every nurse needs to have informatics competencies. You can't get away from using the you can't get away from using the technology. And as you're using it, you need to know. You know how many times have you, as practicing nurses, looked at a piece of technology and said, "Oh boy, I know a nurse didn't design this." Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that um, nurses need to understand that there are ways that technology can be improved and to speak up about them. They also need to know that that data that they're putting in there every day is going into a database that's just waiting to be queried, to pull out you know, information, to create knowledge, to create wisdom. So I think that um, I think those core competencies are essential for any practicing nurse. I think also that um, we have a job to do in educating some of our executive administrators. Um, and, and I think that should be another competency of the nurse informatics specialist, and that is ensuring that their um, administrators are well-versed in how technology can better support the effectiveness of care delivery. I mean, really transform care. Mm -hmm. You said something that really resonated with me in, in terms of the bedside nurse and what they should know. I think they have a tendency to feel like they put something in the EHR and it kind of goes into this vacuum and no one is really looking at it except for maybe a provider to check their eyes and nose and you know make sure they did what they're supposed to mm -hmm. kind of thing and so part of where I feel very passionate coming back to the visualization of analytics but also just sharing with nurses what we are doing with all of this information mm -hmm. and so that they can really use it and feel like their time and energy spent in accurate documentation and that time is valuable. Awesome. That is a great point. I almost want to start wrapping up on I, that point because that's so well <laughs> made. Is there anything else you guys want to share? Patty? I think that's a great wrap up. That was <laughs> I don't know that I can beat that. Rachel, no. anything else you want no. to add? Uh, so I think, you know, we've heard things around data and information, people, of course, technology processes, this need that everybody needs to know a little, but we probably need a handful of people, if not more, that know a lot in this particular specialty and field. Uh, and I think that's one thing that's really exciting about our program here at Vanderbilt is that we do prepare graduates in our master's program to be specialists in all of these different areas uh, and really empower them uh, if they want to go deep in uh, analytics versus implementation or some other aspect, uh, we try to set them up with that. So uh, I want to take one last opportunity to thank you, Rachel, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, joining us. And I want to thank you all for listening in. We're very excited to 
uh, launch this series of informatics related uh, content. Uh, please share with your colleagues, whether in social media or via email. And if you have uh, questions or comments or suggestions, uh, please send those to us at the address below. Until next time.